When we take you on a ride that is so crazy, so intense, and so deliciously juicy, you will be begging for more. We are ready to take you on a journey. Do you feel prepared to plunge headfirst into the craziness that is the world of social programs and policies implemented by the government? We are talking about a drama that would make a writer of a soap blush, some political clashes that are so fierce that they could melt the ice caps of Antarctica, and other stories that are so convoluted that you will need a map just to keep up with them. Dear everyone, and thank you for joining us here at Stimulus Updates. This is the channel you should watch if you want to stay up to date on the most recent fiscal stimulus programs. I am Ali, your host, and I am pleased to inform you that we have some very exciting news to share with you today. However, before we get into the changes for today, make sure that you click the button to subscribe and that you set on the notification bell so that you are never left without an update on anything that has to do with stimuli. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. All right, allow me to go right in. There are some juicy updates that will keep you on the edge of your seat, and we have them for you. To begin, let's go into the intense drama that is currently taking place in the Senate on that law that has been eagerly anticipated. Senator Kay, who serves on the Senate Finance Committee, is making accusations against the Democrats, claiming that they are moving things ahead at an excessively rapid pace. However, hold on, Senator Ron Wyden has responded by asserting that he has been going to great lengths to fulfill the expectations of the Republican Party, only to be left high and dry. Now, guys, we are in the midst of a full-blown political fight. As they work to ensure that this vital bill is passed, these two senators have not even been able to communicate with one another during the break, according to sources within the political establishment. The level of tension is comparable to that of a music video featuring Snoop Dogg. In an effort to be the voice of reason, Chairman Smith is intervening in the conflict and attempting to play the role of a mediator in order to bring everybody on the same page. On the other hand, is he able to bring these rival parties together? It is anticipated by analysts that there is a remote possibility that this law will be approved in the month of May. However, if this does not occur, it is possible that we may remain in a state of impasse for the remainder of the year. This is what we call a cliffhanger. Because there is so much at risk, it is as if we are seeing the unfolding of a riveting political drama right in front of our very eyes. What will the outcome of this high-stakes game of legislative tug-of-war be? Who will emerge victorious? But hold on, there's more to come. Changing gears and moving on to Social Security, we have some exciting news that is in the works that is guaranteed to get you revved up. A brand new bill is now being drafted, and it has the potential to put an additional $180 into the pockets of our senior folks on an annual basis. Indeed, they intend to change the adjustment for the cost of living in order to guarantee that our senior population receives their appropriate proportion of the benefits. Am I correct in saying that it is almost time? It appears that the tide may finally be changing in their favor after years of our senior citizens fighting to ensure that they have enough money to cover their expenses. This predicted increase in benefits has the potential to cause a paradigm shift. Relief and peace of mind for those individuals who have devoted their life to the development of our communities, which is something that is desperately required. Despite the fact that this is a step in the right direction, the battle is not yet resolved. The Social Security Commissioner detonated a truth bomb about the agency's customer service crisis, which is causing hundreds of people to wait for disability decisions. This revelation was a bombshell discovery. Don't be concerned, Farm the Commissioner is currently investigating the matter. Committing to simplifying the application process as quickly as feasible once it is completed. In a news conference that took place earlier today, the Commissioner addressed the growing concerns regarding the enormous backlog of individuals who are waiting for decisions regarding their impairment. Despite the fact that it is abundantly evident that prompt action is required, there is a glimmer of light on the horizon. Increasing the effectiveness of operations and reorganizing the application process are two goals that the commissioner is dedicated to achieving. In a gesture of compassion towards those who were waiting with bated breath, the commissioner acknowledged the frustration and anxiety that are associated with a procedure that takes such a long time. Imagine how excruciatingly painful it would be to not know whether or not you will be given the assistance that you so desperately require. It is a circumstance that no one should be forced to go through, and the commissioner is aware of this fact. The public was given the assurance that the organization is fully committed to resolving the crisis in customer service and doing everything in its power to ensure that everyone receives the assistance they require. With due recognition of the gravity of the situation, the commissioner is confronting the matter head-on by implementing a comprehensive plan to improve the efficiency and efficacy of the application process. 
To begin, they are implementing new technologies and digital platforms in order to expedite the process of submitting disability claims and reviewing them. They are also utilizing the power of automation and data analytics in order to speed up the determination process without compromising accuracy. There will be no more paperwork that moves at a snail's pace and gets buried in the bureaucratic pile. In addition, the commissioner emphasized the significance of increasing the number of staff members in order to satisfy the tremendous demand. He also mentioned that there are plans to recruit and train additional experts who are committed to the particular cause. Not only will this increase in staff members reduce wait times, but it will also enhance customer service by making it possible to give more individualized attention to each every individual situation. I no longer have the sensation of being merely another number in the system. Nevertheless, that is not all, guys. In addition to this, we are keeping a careful eye on the most recent developments concerning the Affordable Connectivity Program. A concerted effort is being made by the Broadband Coalition to convince the House of Representatives to vote on whether or not to extend this extremely important chance for internet access. On the other hand, a group that includes none other than good old Ted Cruz is accusing the government of Vice President Joe Biden of engaging in reckless spending. Is it possible that yet another political confrontation is on the horizon? But make sure to keep your hats on. Please take note, folks, for this is not your typical update. For the sake of this discussion, we are referring to the Social Security Expansion Act law, which is loaded with benefits increases overall. That's right, there are numerous boosts in benefits. Moreover, the question that is occupying everyone's thoughts. We have some very good news to share with you regarding the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program SNAP. The requirements for beneficiaries to undergo interviews are being reinstated in the states of Mississippi and Minnesota simultaneously. On the other hand, there is no need to be concerned because there are remedies in the works for households that have been affected by cybercrime. In addition, Nevada is taking stringent measures to combat SNAP fraud. Be on the lookout for those sly con artists who are attempting to take advantage of the system. As of now, there has been no announcement made on a specific and final deadline by which all of these payments are required to be issued. In spite of this, you can have peace of mind knowing that the Internal Revenue Service is exerting maximum effort to ensure that the majority of the electronic bank payments and mail checks are sent within the first window of one to two weeks. Let's not overlook the EBT program that is offered over the summer. Increasing the qualifying requirements for the Women, Infants, and Children program in Alabama is being done in preparation for the initiative that will take place the following year. This will enable even more families to obtain the aid that they require. Be sure not to overlook those EBT cards, however. You could very well find some cash that you did not anticipate waiting for you. Oh my goodness, it was a whirlwind of new information. But you are aware that we enjoy keeping things hot here. Because there are so many turns and twists in the realm of social programs and policies implemented by the government, it feels as though we are all going to be strapped in for a while. Hold on tight as we continue to provide you with the most recent and cutting-edge news, as well as the most in-depth commentary on the issues that affect all of us. Be sure to stay tuned for additional blazing hot news regarding the most recent buzz around social programs and government policies. In the future, we will continue to provide you with access to